we're able to sort to different locations based on your vertical space. So not only are we limited to one location on the ground, we can go up and down on that sorting area. So with this, what, what we're able to do is, and what we show off is the customization of our robots, right? So we have several different types of these robots where we might have a tilt tray or a conveyor top, and we can, we can do pedestals, multiple conveyors on top to really meet the needs of, of the customer based on their product size, their weights, and, and how they need to move. We're not limited to a, a static footprint that maybe some of your shoe sorters or your, your circle sorters are providing. Instead, we can build out to a smaller size and grow from there. We're also able to do irregular shapes um, or, or something that, that might be L-shaped or, or triangular shaped. We can, we can actually build out to that. So with a lot of sorting um, solutions, you have to think about five years in the future how, what your capacity is going to be and, and how quickly you need to be sorting. With this, we're flexible and scalable, so where we can first initially solution for year one, and then from there we can scale up year over year.